Collective Manifesto. Yeah. Um, and just unpick a little bit of the truth behind some of these pledges. For instance, 50,000 more nurses are being promised. Yeah. Now, if you have a look at those figures, it suggests that around 19,000 of the 50,000 figure will come from keeping nurses we've already got. How can you say that there's going to be 50,000 more if 19,000 already are there? Well, because the 50,000 more is exactly what it says, which is that in 10 years' time, there will be 50,000 more nurses in our NHS, which obviously is good news for patients and, and their families in terms of making sure that when they need the NHS, there are people there but obviously to look after them. But you're recounting 19,000 who no, what already we're saying, are in the NHS. No, what we're, well, what we're saying is, as part of making sure that in 10 years' time, there are 50,000 more nurses, like any employer, and of course the NHS is a huge employer, retaining your highly skilled staff is a key part of your workforce strategy. But it doesn't uh, mean there are more nurses. Well, it, it will means mean there, there are, are 31,000 more nurses. No. And, and we're going to hang on to 19,000 nurses. No, look, the, the, the bottom line, the manifesto is crystal clear on this, 50,000 more nurses uh, over the course of the next, by, you know, by the time we get to 10 years' time. Uh, and they will be uh, there through a variety of different routes. Some absolutely will be retained, and that's a key part of any, as I say, uh, workforce strategy. You don't want to lose your highly skilled staff. But there'll Ms. be Angle, others coming Angle, sorry. in With the greatest respect, uh, Gardner Secretary, stopping people leaving is not more nurses, is it? And there will be 50,000 the more... No, no, 50,000 more nurses... There for a variety of different routes. 19,000 of them are just people you're going to persuade to stay. That's not more nurses. There'll be 50,000 more no, nurses. I keep saying that. In the NHS. Can you explain the 19,000? Well, I am, uh, well, I am explaining it. Piers, I am explaining I'm, it. Treat me and, as a and, complete idiot because I, at the moment I feel <laughs> I'd like. I never one. do that. I'd I never don't do understand that. how it can be 50,000 more nurses if 19,000 of them are already nurses. Can you explain? Well, because there'll be 50,000 <laughs> more. Uh, yeah, I, I know. 19,000 more. Morgan. Now, Morgan. Morgan. Of, 19, Morgan to Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan to Morgan, 19,000 already exist. So is 50,000 more How can they what? be ca categorised as more? Well, because they will not have left the NHS, we will have kept them in the NHS, plus recruiting through uh, apprenticeships and through right. degrees so just and to through clarify, graduates and everything else. Just to clarify, again, Morgan to Morgan, you, you being the smart one, me being the idiot, <laughs> 19,000 of the 50,000 are already current NHS nurses. And we would expect on current, if you look at the, uh, the numbers of nursing staff who leave the NHS, it is far too high. So like any employer, you want to make sure that you are keeping your skilled staff and that is absolutely part of the So why don't you just strategy. say that? Why don't you just say, we're going to try and persuade people who may want to leave to stay, but rather than call, but not call them more nurses, because well, more be nurses, overall, the numbers overall, it, see, it all will comes be 50, down to trust, doesn't higher. it? It comes 50, down to trust. Higher. We well, know we know that trust in Boris Johnson is very low. We know when he did a debate recently, and it came up as a question, everybody laughed at the idea he could be trustworthy. When he leads a manifesto that the flagship policy in it is there going to be 50,000 more nurses? Yeah. And now you as the culture secretary, a member of that cabinet, a member of the government, admit that 19,000 of them already are NHS nurses. Viewers at home go, well, this is complete nonsense. But there will be 50... There are other ways that nurses come in to the NHS. There will be overall... And this is, we're very, very clear on this. 50,000 more nurses, if you look in 10 years' time, than there are no, today. I know you keep saying and that. And in terms of the trust issue... I know you keep issue, saying that, but 19,000 of them are existing NHS nurses. Do you see the problem? Well, but I think it's realistic to say we've got highly skilled staff who we do not want to leave. And that is, if we are able to uh, persuade them and to encourage them to stay, that is good news for nursing care Yes, but in it's not more country. nurses. Nicky Morgan, isn't it, it a bit is like more. saying, uh, on Good Morning Britain tomorrow morning, there will be three more presenters? And then tomorrow you just have exactly the same number of presenters because you managed to persuade me, Piers and Charlotte, to carry on doing the job tomorrow. Well, not if there's not an additional more. three. Not if there's an additional three. And then you've got your six, haven't you? But the fact is that three of you have been encouraged to come on on Tuesday morning and not just on Monday morning.
Yeah, Nikki, Nikki. Do we even not if, have really odd maths Even as you here. said that sentence, you knew that was probably a wrong avenue to go down, <laughs> didn't you? No, I, 